and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has four scriptures, and they're all taken from the English Standard Version Bible. The first is the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 10, and it reads, Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tried you in the furnace of affliction. The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 30, and it reads, Let both grow together until the harvest, and at harvest time I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. The third scripture is the book of John, chapter 15, verses 14 through 17, and it reads, You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you so that you will love one another. The fourth and final scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And it reads, After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his glory. And he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable beast. For all nations have drunk the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed immorality with her. And the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you take part in her sins, lest you share in her plagues. For her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back as she herself has paid back others, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double portion for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and lived in luxury, so give her like measure, give her a like measure, excuse me, of torment and mourning. Since in her heart she says, I sit as a queen, I am no widow. And mourning I shall never see. For this reason, her plagues will come in a single day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who has judged her. Now for the message received from the Lord God on July the 3rd, 2023. Soon, my beloved children, your fate will be revealed. Some will be thrilled, and yet others will feel as if they've been killed dead. Dread. Oh, so much dread. What just took place? Half of the human race is gone. The light no longer shines on, emitting from the presence of the Lord. It's a foregone conclusion. It's not an illusion or an alien supernatural abduction. I have just come and gone for my bride. They cried out to me daily and were in my word. They repented of sin and were not deterred by the enemy. 
They were a friend to me and I to them. They let me into their lives personally. They made sacrifices to put aside time to spend with me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They were not blind to my glory. They told me their story and I listened to them. They opened their Bibles and I led them to verses, passages where I gave them wisdom, truth, and understanding. They weren't perfect, no. They just were humbled at my feet. My beloved children, the harvest of the wheat is upcoming. Soon everyone who's left behind will be running in circles. What just happened? They will say, then they will know without a doubt in their minds what just took place. The rapture of the church, the end of the race, the beginning of a new era for those who were ready, but a time of refinement in the fires of affliction for those still in addiction to the sins of this world. No longer will the American flag be unfurled and waving in the breeze so freely and with ease. No, the enemies from the north and the east will seize thee, America. Freedom will be a fleeting thought of remembrance. Your license to freedom has just expired. Don't grow tired and weary of these days, these last moments of freedom, no. Now is the time to confess your sin to me. I will forgive thee, for I love thee so. It is time to know the precarious times in which you are living, the last days, hours, and moments before I raise up my first fruits of the harvest. Will you be ready, or is your fruit unripe? If you've been left behind, wipe away your tears now. There will be a delay, but never fear now. For my harvest workers are working the fields. The yields will be great. Do not wait to get your houses in order. Clean them up now before the foreign soldiers come knocking upon your doors exclamation point, with everlasting love, Jesus, the one true God. So this is a message, and I find it interesting that the Lord has it from the perspective of the people who were left behind and what just took place. I'm not going to go through it all over again, but... I believe that there is a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about with this war in Ukraine, and they're not reporting on any of this. So if you haven't come to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ yet on bended knee and ask him for forgiveness, now is the time to do so. And I believe that America is breathing her last breath. And I'm recording this on the 4th of July. This could be the last 4th of July. Please come to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now. Accept him wholeheartedly into your hearts today. And you will not be left behind. And God bless you.